I'm John Stone. I am the Edward A. Fox Chair in Medicine at the Massachusetts General Hospital and the Director of the Rheumatology Clinic there. And I'm a Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. The bullet points of the trial, the first is that GIACTA represents the first real breakthrough in the treatment of giant cell arteritis in 67 years since the invention of cortisone. The most surprising finding from the trial, I think, was how poorly prednisone alone did in leading to sustained remissions at one year. In the group of patients in the trial who received prednisone tapered over a full year, only 18% of those patients achieved the primary outcome. In comparison, both of the tocilizumab groups achieve the primary outcome at a, at a much higher rate, 56% for those who received the weekly tocilizumab and 53% who received every other week tocilizumab. So what I think this means now for practicing clinicians is when they have a patient with giant cell arteritis, whether it is a newly diagnosed patient or a patient with relapsing disease, then they need to think about not only starting steroids again or raising the dose, but also starting the patient on tocilizumab as quickly as possible with the goal to be to get patients off prednisone uh, as soon as possible. The safety profile of tocilizumab in the GIACTA trial was very good. There were no new safety signals observed. There were no deaths in part one of the trial. And there were no bowel perforations no unanticipated infections or laboratory abnormalities that hadn't been seen in other studies. And in the safety profile, I think the most interesting thing was that patients with more than one severe adverse event were much more likely to be in the prednisone-only groups than in one of the tocilizumab groups. Speaking, I think, to the importance of steroid toxicity, as causing adverse events in this disease. So there were two prednisone tapering regimens used in this trial. One was a full year prednisone taper. Uh, the other was six months. And I think one of the very important things we've learned in this trial is that now with tocilizumab, we may be able to push the envelope on the steroid taper and uh, taper perhaps much more quickly than even six months and that's going to be an important thing to investigate in the future.